Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today we are going to film a little look into my medicine cabinet where I have all my beauty products stored. I have a ton of beauty products currently because I have been getting several boxes every month to kind of show on the channel, and every once in a while I'll go through and declutter things that practically I just don't think I'm gonna use. And I try to do that in live time too, especially like even as I'm opening the box, if I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna touch this. I will mention to you right in the video that I'm gonna give it to a friend. But I do tend to accumulate. I cannot recommend enough going through at least twice a year all your stuff and taking a critical look at if I'm really gonna use this or not. But I have a lot right now because we just moved and I just, have not been through anything in a while. So before we get started with that, I do want to mention I have used a couple of products uh, from recent boxes in my makeup today. So on my eyes, I have this green eyeshadow. This is from Medusa's Makeup. It is the Eye Dust in uh, Wasabi, which is a really pretty color, but I just do not see myself reaching for this, even though it's really cool it's just not the makeup I go for and then on my cheeks as highlighter from the petite four box that I just opened like a couple days ago on my cheeks I have the color sugar from the K Voss highlighter palette which I think is really pretty and then in my inner corner which maybe you could see maybe it's a little subtle on camera I have everything nice from this palette as well so this I'm keeping this I really like but the eyeshadow while it was incredibly easy to work with and layer back on and it didn't really have any uh fallout or anything which is really nice it's a good quality product but the color itself is not one i'm gonna reach for a lot so i gave it a, a good college try but i'm gonna give this to my friend so that is that so let's go ahead and head into the master bathroom and take a look at all of my beauty products and how I've got them sorted and maybe you guys will have some suggestions for me because right now I've just got it all thrown in there and the first method I could think of just to unpack it and get it out. So let's go take a look. So we are here in my master bathroom. Whoever hung this mirror hung it super high. I am five feet tall and can literally only see my head in this. So <laughs> that kind of stinks, but it, I get enough mirror space that I can do what I need to do. Just all of it is wasted. So that's kind of silly. But aside from that, this is a huge vanity space. Like there's tons of room and storage. So I guess let me go ahead and walk you through what I have on the counter right now. So I have my little uh, Scentsy skull. This was a gift to me like a million years ago. My mom knows I love skulls. So um, she picked that up for me as a gift. It's got like a hair, cat hair stuck in the fragrance. Maybe I'll go ahead and turn that on. I haven't turned it on in a few days. And I'll make the room smell nice. So I've got that. And then I've got this little vintage cup full of floss. Which is random but it is the perfect size to hold the floss. I have my Hello Charcoal Toothpaste. I've had this forever because I really only use this once in a while because as I mentioned in my other video, charcoal can have some uh, pretty bad effects if you are someone that takes medication. So I'm trying to be infrequent with the use. And then I've also got the charcoal mouthwash, which I've also had for a really long time. I need to go ahead and order more of the regular Hello Toothpaste and mouthwash because those are my favorite. And then I've got this little toothpaste. Like in my empties video, I had two random little ones from the dentist. This was also from the dentist. Just finishing that up to get it out of the house. I have this little toothbrush holder. I want to say that was from Bed Bath & Beyond a really long time ago. Toothbrush, tongue scraper. Then I've got a chapstick. I like to keep a chapstick in most of our bathrooms just for easy access because I feel like I'm constantly applying chapstick. I've got some hand uh, soap. What am I trying to say? Hand soap. I think this is the Mrs. Meyer brand. It's just a refill of that. And then I'm using the Osei face cleanser right now. I was using the um, Drunk Elephant 
butter cleanser to remove makeup. Oh, this is not focusing on anything. Come on. But since I just got this one, the Fresh Face, focus. There we go. This Fresh Face one. Um, and it's such a tiny little jar. I figured, you know what, I'm just going to buzz through this real quick. And I've been enjoying using that to remove makeup. And I do really like that one as well. And then I also have out a scrub. This is the Microdermabrasion Scrub from Derma E. Even though the granules are really fine, I still think this is maybe a pinch too aggressive. I don't use this often, very often. This is the little scoop that came with the Fresh Face. That is my retainer, which is gross. We don't need to look at that. And then I also have this little mask out, the pink mask by, what is that? Course and Beauty. I forget what box this came in, but there's not a ton in there. I think I've only used it twice and I've already used up most of it. So I figured I'd just leave it out and use this until it was gone since there wasn't a lot in it just to get more products moved. But I did use it the other day. And it's a fine mask. I don't think it does anything wild, but it does give you that nice pampering doing a mask feel. And actually, I should have that in there. So in this little upside down lush box lid that I have here. I usually keep things that I'm trying to use up. So I have very, very little left in this Alba Botanica sunscreen. And I've got a rosemary and a peppermint oil, just those mini oils that I showed in my empties video. I have a box of tissues and then I have some larger essential oils that I need to sort and work through. And that's everything I keep here. And I also, on this little ring, keep one of my microfiber cloths that I like to use for drying my face. Let's go ahead and take a look at what is in the medicine cabinet itself. We'll start over here on the left. So in this one, I have daily use skincare right here. So I've got a toner and a toning mist. And then I've got a... Uh, salicylic acid products, benzyl peroxide products. Then this is a 10% AHA treatment, a eye cream and oil, a retinol booster, just the moisturizer I'm using daily, and then a little container with my reusable cotton rounds. Up here, I've got like all the boosters and serum type things. So vitamin C, hyaluronic acid. Alzeic acid, that is a blue tansy product, lactic acid, um, lots of Matrixyl 3000, whatever that blend, blend is from Timeless. And then we have like the squalling and vitamin C. And I mean, I don't love that there's rose oil in that, but I had already opened it and started using it, so I'm gonna try and finish it up. Then these are just thicker oils. This is a, a marula oil, and I think that is vitamin C or no vitamin E and then we have the squalene and omega repair cream from Biosense so I like I use most of this on a daily basis and I usually pick one or two of those to add in and then up top we have all of my extras and things I just haven't opened so in here let me pull this down actually so this is serving dual purpose because this is where I will mix dry masks in this little bowl with water or oil or whatever they call for. But I also have it holding extra stuff for now. So I've got my dose of C eye cream from Delia Organics, the Paul's Choice uh, water infusing electrolyte moisturizer, the Verify 2020 eye cream, and the Good Molecules eye gel. So all of those little products that are awkward shapes and sizes go in there. An extra Paula's Choice toner, a large version of the water infusing moisturizer, a First Aid Beauty coconut moisturizer, a sleeping mask from Save. It is really hard to hold the camera this high. <laughs> Two Derma E night masks. And then some products from The Ordinary that I will open once I use up something on the shelf. And then some vitamin E oil. So that's everything in here. And I think I need to get my step stool before we move on to the next. Okay, shelf. I've got my step stool now and this is much better. So we're in the center cabinet now. And 
they all just run through so it is just one big cabinet there's no sectioning on this first shelf i have sunscreens so these are both body sunscreens the alba botanica and the all good and then the Blossoma, Hall's Choice, and Norea are for face. In here, I've got two lip scrubs and a lip balm. So those are all together since they are awkward sizes. And those are also in a little random cup, this old-ass Hello Kitty cup I have. And then I have a tiny fragrance that I'm working on. This is from Inkling. And it is the sultry scent. And this reminds me of um, Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Heavenly. Except without that huge punch of alcohol that it has in the opening. So I have the two deodorants. I'm cycling through the Bloom Hug Me deodorant, which I don't love. And then the Pacifica Coconut Cream Clean deodorant, which I do tend to really like. So, just depending on the occasion, I use the one I hate or the one that I know will work. Just so I can use things up. I don't hate it enough to just trash it, so I'm trying to use it up. Moving up here, we have more deodorant products. All of this is deodorant that I need to work my way through. And, uh, yeah. So, working on that. Then we have pimple patches and my little... Uh, another little container here it's got a scoop for masks it's got applicators for masks and yeah and some instructions on a few masks that need uh, careful usage and then basically the rest of this cabinet is masks so lush mask uh, I don't know the name of that one then we have one from Plant Based Beauty, an Ursa Major, a Blossoma. This is a Tarte mask. And on top of that is a Juice Beauty mask for Sigmatic, Youth to the People, and a Drunk Elephant. And that's everything in here. This video is going to be so shaky. It's so hard to like point and stuff and use the camera at the same time. All right, moving over here. This is the last cabinet. Wait scooch my step stool over <laughs> so this little section here is all hair products so i have a sun bum product and who is this one from john masters organics that i'll use after i finish the sun bum i have this marrakesh smoothing treatment which is really nice this is just avocado oil i think for when i just want to leave some oil in my hair for a while and use it as like a treatment before getting the shower to wash. This is a scalp treatment from Tropical Naturals. I've not used that yet. I keep forgetting about it. And then hair growth serum, although it tells you to put it on your ends. So I don't know how that's gonna make your hair grow, but it does make my ends look nice. So I've been using it. Then the Lush r &B. You need that if you got curly hair. Then I just have a couple eye products, the Thera Tears and the Bio True for my contacts, and I keep my contact case in there tucked away when I am not wearing my contacts. This shelf is all body, so I've got, I don't even, I'm not going to go through all of these individually. There's a ton of lotions, body butters, body oils, and random serums that I just mix in with my body products as well as a couple mists that I just didn't think were good enough for my face, so I've been using them on my body. That's actually been really refreshing, even though it does feel wrong to be using them in the wrong capacity, it has been a nice experience. Then the last little corner up here, all of these are face washes. So these are all just extra face washes, and some are like makeup removing cleansers, some are scrubs but for the most part this is all just cleansers so that is a happy shelf because i love cleansers because i'll always eventually use them i'm not going to go into great detail about what's under here but i just have uh extras of things extra hair stuff so products for styling um extra body washes extra shampoos conditioners contacts, makeup brushes that need cleaning, extra toothpaste, all that stuff. And then I keep my empties container over there. 
and then I don't even know what's in these other ones. So just random crap, empty perfume and empty uh, Mr. Bottles. <laughs> this just has the microdermabrasion or micro fiber cloths I need to wash, and then more brushes and hair stuff. And then this is the cloth bag that I put the dirty cotton rounds in. So that was a look at my medicine cabinet and all of my various beauty products. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions for organization tips or ideas about anything related to this video really, you can leave that in the comment box below. If you enjoyed the video, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit the subscribe button. And otherwise, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.